Hi there, I'm Cole Perkins with Preco Electronics, and joining us today is Craig with the Municipality of Anchorage Solid Waste Services. And today we're going to go over the installation process of the Preview Side Defender 2. Now here before you we have all the contents of the kit that will go on the truck. Here we have the Preview Side Defender 2 sensor and its mounting hardware. And here is the Side Defender 2's transition cable. We have a Y cable that will connect the transition cables together up to the display. It also includes the documentation with the user manual for the devices as well as a wiring diagram and sensor placement guide. Are you ready to install it? Let's get it done. All right. Today we're going to be installing the Preview Object Detection System on this Labrie front loader refuse truck. We'll go over the sensor placement, the wire routing, and then we'll get into the finer details of the installation. So let's get started. The sensor placement for the Side Defender 2 is critical. We recommend for optimal performance that the sensor be located anywhere from 167 to 187 inches from the front bumper and a mounting height from the ground of 22 to 28 inches. A bracket will more than likely need to be fabricated to allow the sensor to extend out past any of the equipment along the side of the truck to have a clear view. For the cable harness, we'll be routing the harness back along the chassis, following the harness from the sentry sensor up into the cab. This current bracket here provides a good location for us to fabricate a bracket to mount the sensor off of. We want the sensor to extend out past any other equipment so it has a clear view. And Craig has already gone ahead and fabricated a bracket here. And we've chosen this location. As you can see, Craig's already drilled a couple holes. So what we'll do is we'll be attaching the fabricated mount and this will extend it out past all the equipment and it's not wider than the tires are. Go ahead and get this mounted and then we can run the harness. When you're fabricating the bracket, one thing you'd want to keep in mind is the rigidity of the bracket itself. The bracket that Craig fabricated here is very solid. You smack it, it doesn't bounce around. To give you an example of uh, a mount or somewhere that you would not like to mount the sensor, you can refer to this fender here. As you hit it, you see how it vibrates. For the side defender too, you need to have a solid mount, otherwise it can see a stationary object as moving if the mount it is on is vibrating as the vehicle is idling or moving around. Now that we got the Side Defender 2 sensor mounted, we'll then be running the harness. We're going to route the harness back along the tanks here. We'll have to run underneath the chassis over to the other side where we'll meet up with the other sensor's harness and then we'll follow on up into the cab. All right, now it's time for the Side Defender 2 detection pattern test. What I'm gonna do is very similar to with the Sentry and I'm gonna outline the detection pattern. So as I walk into the detection pattern, they're gonna signal to me when I'm detected so I can place a cone. The Side Defender 2 does not have five zones of detection like the Sentry. It only has one. So we won't be, any, we won't be doing any zone detections, just the detection pattern. Let's get started. I'm going to start at the center of the sensor again, walk directly towards it, and they'll flag me when to place a cone. Okay. Now I'm going to also go to either side of the sensor to get the width. The detection length of the Side Defender 2 is approximately 10 feet, which would be close to one adjacent lane.
Okay, so we've reached the end of the detection on this end. I'll go to the other side now. That side's done. Now I'm gonna go this way. Got this side done, now we'll do the back side. Now we have the detection pattern for the side defender two. So what we're going to do now is show you how the side defender two will ignore stationary objects. As a truck drives by these stationary parked trucks, it should ignore them, and as I walk out, it should detect me. Did it get me? Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk through the detection pattern, and you're going to see how large of a blind spot there is even with the rear view mirror. Here we go. Okay, the testing we were doing before was with the turn signal engaged. The turn signal provides an audible alert when there's an object detected. What we're gonna do now is do the same test but without the turn signal engaged so you'll see how it reports a little differently and it does not provide an audible alert. 